Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 19. This is Problem 19. It says given the sets, the set L is 0, 20, 40, 80, 100, the set M is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and the set N is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which of the following represents L union, this is a symbol for union, of, in parentheses, M intersection, that's a symbol for intersection, N. Um, and again, there's four options. Option A is the set 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 80, 100. Option B is the set 0, 10, 20, 40, 80, 100. Option C is the set 20, 40. And option D is the set with just 20. So which one is it? Well, let's start with what they ask us to find. We have L union parentheses M intersection N. <coughs> so with any type of math, if you have parentheses, you must do the work in parentheses first. Whether it's trigonometry, algebra, whatever it is, I have parentheses. I must do that work in parentheses first. In the parentheses, I have M intersection, again, that is the symbol for intersection, and so intersection means what items are in both sets at the same time. Where do the sets intersect? That's why it's intersection. So M and N, what's in both M and N in the same time? Tens in both at the same time. Um, 20s in both at the same time. And that's it. So 10 and 20. Tens in both M and N. 20 is in both M and N. So I have L union, and the answer that I got for M intersection N was 10 and 20. Now you have to remember what union is. Union means the union of the two sets. Join them together. Anything that's listed twice, only list it once when you, when you write it out. So the set L is given. So L is the one on top, 0, 20, 40, 80, 100. So I'm going to do the set L, which again is 0, 20, 40, 80, 100. And I'm going to do a union with the set that just has 10 and 20. So again, what does union mean? Union means join the two sets. If you have a repeat like 20, you just list it once. You don't go 20, 20. So I'm going to have 0, 10, 20, 40, 80, 100. That's what I get when I join those two sets or find the union of those two sets. Now, as I look through my options, um, option A does not fit. There's way too many items in it. Option B is actually a perfect match. Now, I put all the items in the set in increasing order. That's just traditional, but you don't have to do that. You, you can put the 80 first. The order doesn't matter. It's, it's um, convention to put them in increasing order. But B is a perfect match. So the answer to problem 19 is option B.